Well, hello everybody. My name is Tom Boone. I'm Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation. Really pleased to be back in China. Um, and really, Jazz, to introduce you to some of the folks on, on our team uh, as we go around China. And one of these folks is uh, Reverend Dana Allen. Great to have you here, man. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. So, Dana, tell us just a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm the uh, Synod Executive for ECO, Covenant Order of Evangelical Presbyterians. Yeah, it's a long name. Isn't it? it is a long name, um, yes. And I was fascinated when you said yes to this trip. One of the reasons that you did is you've got apparently some connections to China. Yeah, I've uh, taught Gordon Conwell Doctrine okay. of Ministry course. I did that with Jim Singleton, and two of our students uh, live in China, so I actually got to see one of them one of the nights, oh, which was yeah, really no, exciting. That was yeah. I, we were in uh, Hong Kong and at the bay, and you had to peel off, and, yeah. and you spent the night with that person. So that's great. Why not the whole night? Maybe I just I had dessert with I had him. dessert yeah. with him. So since this is your first trip, though, right to to this area, yes. Um, what's what's been a surprise? You know, I, I think the um, how nice and friendly all the, the people have been in, you know, in the various places that we have gone, um, how welcoming, encouraging, and just the way we're having phenomenal dialogue. Yeah, the dialogue has been really rich, and it's really the whole point of our visit is is a dialogue with Christians who are, here, who are living here. And um, we have been meeting various friends. I mean, our my trip co-leader is Chris Ben Wang, and he's a phenomenal, he's uh, great. great young leader in China, um, living in the States temporarily. I'm glad to have him on our staff. Um, but he's been introducing us to uh, really the emerging leaders of the church in China who are under 40 years old. And it's just been great. So, uh, Dana, as you've interacted with some of them, what, what are a couple of the takeaways? How do you see God at work in them? Or, you know, take it however you want. Yeah, I, you know, I they're several generations into, you know, to being Christians and here. And one of the things I really like is how wonderfully they love the church and they love God's people and how reflective they are about theology and, and yeah. owning it for themselves and for a new generation um, and how excited they are for the future, but also how much they realize here's some things that, that we need to change in our church or the church over here and how willing they are to invest in, um, you know, in other leaders and helping to, to see the kingdom come in China. As you heard from them, what would be something that, you know, that you wish some of our young leaders in, in the Presbyterian Church back home, what would be your wish that they would maybe hear from these young leaders here? What are, or what might be a learning point for them as, you know, gosh, if we could just get them together, right? Yeah, I think, um, you know, part of it, and I, I hear it from young leaders in our churches as well, just what does the church need to look like and be and do in the future? I mean, obviously, it's it's God's church, not my church, not the denomination's church. Um, but really, what are the shifting needs as, um, as culture changes and as challenges and opportunities come? And... I, I was so encouraged by how much the younger people were able to to take those on for themselves and yeah, really yeah. to try to wrestle with it. And I think my hope is that younger leaders, you know, our younger leaders, um, you know, pastors or just even uh, younger people in the church, you know, yeah, college yeah. students, whatever, would be able to um, to want to engage at that level to make the church, uh, as we say, Nico, a flourishing church that yeah. makes disciples of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think the church is in good hands, um, both at home, but also here. And it's Absolutely. great to see that. Well, Dana, thanks. It's good to have you on this team. And we're not done yet. Uh, we'll be gathering another reflection probably from you later in the week. Okay. Um, everybody, thanks for following. And uh, uh, we'll be continuing to post these. And uh, thanks for your prayers uh, that are sustaining our trip. God bless.